Yo, what's up, YouTube? Sharp here, bringing you guys a something I haven't done in a while, like a live pub commentary. I think I did it. I did it in Black Ops a lot when my team wasn't playing, and I did it in uh, the beginning of MW3, just just you know, just to put a video out. And right now, my screen is looking wild. I don't know if this is recording right now, but oh, what is going on? My screen is like it just turned all red. That's supposed to happen? I don't think so. But uh, this is the gun I'm going to be using, ACR, with a red dot and blue tiger, just because blue is my favorite color. And then I'm, I'm rocking the focus. What focus does is when you get shot, uh, your, your gun doesn't shoot up a lot. Now, normally people use, like, kick or impact or something like that, uh, which is good unless you're shooting at someone that, like, goes around a corner and say they come back and they start shooting at you. Uh, then your gun will start kicking up a lot, and it's going to be hard to kill them. Using the 44 Magnum pistol doesn't really matter. You know, they're kind of useless. Uh, without machine pistols being allowed in MLG, you know, your handgun's pretty useless. Uh, Simtex, concussion grenade, and then sleight of hand, hardline, dead silence. You guys know everything I use when I get Moabs. Now, I'm just going to use the ACR just because I want to go ham in this pub right here. Uh, playing Domination. I know if you guys saw my tweet the last night or whatever, I was going for like... I was, I was trying to go for a 100 plus kill game. I uh, haven't really tried to get one of those. I've been more focused on getting Moabs. And I do have a lot of Moabs that I have, like, stocked up to upload. Or not, or not upload, but I still got to do the commentaries on them. Like, uh, one game I got a double Moab on, I believe the map was Lockdown. And I was using I was using a light machine gun. And I got it, and then I switched to an ump, and I got another one with the ump. So, it's a little two-in-one video. Moabless, Moabs and mullets, as you guys like to know. Now, in Domination, what you want to do, what you want to try to do, is, uh, well, I mean, I'm playing by myself, obviously, and I just joined the game that was mid, you know, it was already going. So, really what you want to do, if you're playing with a group of people and you can tell everyone, you know, what they need to do, is you don't want to, you don't want to three cap if you're going for kills. Uh, obviously, because it makes the game go by a lot faster when you have them three capped and then two they don't have a control spawn point um, right now I'm just destroying everybody oh and by the way something a lot of people don't know is when you get special bonus the reason why you run faster is because you actually get speed uh, the proficiency speed that comes with the light machine gun or the uh, sniper you actually get that proficiency so that w that's what makes you run faster so just a little something to that, that I didn't know when I first started playing. Uh, and I know a lot of people don't know. Now, I can't believe that it just made me jump up on that tra portal potty. Now, now, like I was saying, uh, with the three capping thing, if you have them three cap and you're running around and they're spawn, they're not going to spawn where they would normally be. Now, it, right now they're on A and they have A and B. So, they're going to be spawning around the A and the B area. They're not going to be spawning over at C. So, we don't really need to be looking at C. But if we, if we don't have them, I mean, if we do have them three capped, we're running around, then they can just spawn wherever, you know. They can spawn uh, behind you. It makes you hard. It makes it harder for people to get Moabs. Uh, it makes it harder for people to get kills because you can't really predict where people are going to be. And also, I hate joining games late, but I usually play pubs alone. Unless I'm playing with one of my teammates or something, but... I hate going in pubs alone, even though I'm destroying these kids, just because we already come in here and these kids are all set up with their, you know, they have UAVs and stuff and all their kill streaks from killing my teammates. And now I have to suffer because my team is not that good. Now, if you notice on the radar right here, they're all just going to be spawning on this B side of the map. Even though they're all running the construction. I'm pushing up over here, and they're all over construction. Now this guy looks like he wants to come back. Yep. Let's mow him over. And now these guys are all on C. Um, so, you know, my team, we're all on the same side of the map. We didn't really do... Like I said, you know, we were, I'm just playing with just random people in pubs, so obviously they don't know what they're doing. Those guys should have died. What the hell is that? Uh, but if you're playing with a team, then... Uh, if you're going to spawn trap B, have people come from the right, have people come from the left, and then you should be good just having them spawn. And then people watch the middle. 
Ooh, they got the two piece. Probably so easy. This is actually the only Call of Duty since Call of Duty 4 that I legitimately went to 10th Prestige. Call of Duty 4, I didn't know what MLG or anything was, so I was just a pub star at the very beginning. And so I just played pubs the whole time. And Modern Warfare 2, I glitched. I, I did the, the whatever you want to call it, the JTAG lobby. And got hacked up to 10th. And then World of War, I didn't play World of War. I, I think I prestiged once on that game. I just played GBs with some of my friends on there. You know, if I wasn't doing anything on Call of Duty 4. Because there was that little period where at, right after like 08 Nets. And that was kind of the time I got in. Oh, we're all going to die. God. Little little tip. I don't know why, but I don't have colorblind assist on. If you turn colorblind assist on, you can see where the stealth bomber is coming in from. I don't know why I don't have it turned on. But, so like I was saying, there was that little, that little area of time right when World of War came out and Call of Duty 4 Nets for 08 in Vegas had just ended. And I just got into, you know, knowing what MLG was and just got into playing it and, you know, just started liking it pretty much. And so I didn't want to go to World of War. Uh, in the thought that, you know, the, a lot of people were talking saying that Call of Duty 4 was going to be back on the circuit. And they were even saying that it was going to be like a main game that like they were going to have it at every event. Oh my god, so I think I want to switch an SMG. Uh, even though I don't think my team's going to come back, we have to do some crazy shit. Hopefully my teammates can get a... Oh, I can't get it, we're going to lose. Fuck. I hate joining games like... But yeah, so they were talking about bringing it back and putting it on, you know, going to every event. Obviously, that was before MW2 or anything came out, and it was a long time ago. But, you know, there was that little period where I still played Call of Duty 4, hoping that they'd bring it back. And I just didn't really like World at War. And so, I played World at War, you know, just, just to play GBs and have fun on there, but I didn't really like it. So I only prestige once. And then Black Ops, I went up to like third prestige, and then they reset me because I did the gold gun glitch, and which was kind of dumb. Just for getting gold guns, they reset you all the way down to level one. So that game, I just kind of gave up on prestiging, and just went up to like first prestige, and then kind of quit. So yeah, I just kind of wanted to make this video just to I don't know, just to make a video, and play a pub. I didn't really do kind of I didn't really do that big of a breakdown. Someone's calling for my name. Oh, uh, I think it's Dito. But, um, yeah, I just wanted to make a video and kind of do like a pub breakdown. If you guys learned anything from that, how to how to spawn trap on Dom, then I hope, you know, I did that. I, I really just wanted to make a, you know, quick little easy video because I haven't posted anything in like the past couple days. And I know I'm kind of slacking on my YouTube. You know, back in, back over summer, I'd post every single day. And I haven't really done that. As you can see right now, Dito's in my party. Um, last night we played uh, me, 4Play, Stain, and Dito. I got some gameplay for that. Uh, I should have some iGames going up on 4Play's channel. So I might upload those in my channel as well after they've been on 4Play's for a while. So you guys might see those. Or if not, you can go to 4Play's channel and I'll let you guys know when I upload where, or when those go up. Uh, and also, me and Dito are about to play dubs. So I'm probably going to do a... A listening type thing with me and Dito where you can just hear our call outs and us playing dubs. Uh, what else? Like I said, I got I still got a bunch of Moab videos. Got all those double, I got like a double Moab and I got like Moabs like MP5 and 14. Still doing the Moab challenge. Gonna upload those. And yeah, just a lot of things coming. I still gotta do my like my setup, how to stream with Wirecast and how to do videos with a laptop on a Mac with an HTTP VR. So I still got a lot of stuff I gotta do, but. Just wanted to make this and give you guys a little pub breakdown and give you guys a little, uh, you know, insight of what I'm going to be doing. And the last thing, I'm also going to be doing some more MLG breakdowns because, like I said, I got some MLG gameplay from last night. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This is Sharp. Please give this video a like and a favorite, as always, and I'm out. Peace.